morning and happy Wednesday. So this is my first ever YouTube video. So you guys are going to have to let me know how I'm doing. If I'm like Ryan from Ryan's World or if I'm more of a Jojo Siwa type of, of YouTuber. Um, obviously, I'm missing you guys so much. I talked with Miss Gleason yesterday on video chat and um, we decided that we're going to start to try doing more videos maybe trying out some experiments with you guys with things that you have at home. I might do some drawings with you. And of course, I'm going to be reading you guys some books. So right before we, um, you know, left school, we were reading Mo Willems and um, Bree and Richard read you guys Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. So I unfortunately didn't bring a lot of books home with me from school. But I did find one, Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late. So we're going to read this, and then I have a little special surprise for you guys at the end of the video, something for us to try out together. All right, so we have Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late. So I'm going to make sure that I show you guys the pictures and you get a really good look before we move on. Let me make sure it's in. There we go. Oh, good. It's you guys. Listen, it's getting late and I need to brush my teeth. Can you do me a favor? Don't let the pigeon stay up late. And just like in school, if you guys want to respond and you want to say, please do that. I'm going to need some help. I'll be saying no too, but we know how the pigeon can be. All right, thanks. <clears throat> First of all, not even tired. In fact, I'm in the mood for a hot dog party. What do you say? No. No? <laughs> I hear there's a good show about birds on TV tonight. Should be very educational. How about five more minutes? Come on, what's five minutes in the grand scheme of things? No. <gasps> what? 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 I'm not tired. I hope you guys don't act like this at home for your parents when they're trying to get you to go to bed. You know, we never get to talk anymore. Tell me about your day. No. Oh, I've got a great idea. We could count the stars. I want you guys to notice he has like a line under his eyes. Those are called like bags under your eyes. It starts, it shows like you're starting to get really tired. I think he's getting tired. Can I have a glass of water? Studies show that pigeons hardly need any sleep at all. It's the middle of the day in China. I'll go to bed early tomorrow night instead. Hey, hey, ho, ho, there's a pigeon. We just won't go. Please. My bunny wants to stay up too. You can't say no to a bunny, can you? <sighs> so that says yawn. yawn. Okay, that was not a yawn. I was stretching. I'm 110% awake. You haven't heard the last of me. Great work. Thanks. Good night. And he's dreaming of his hot dog party. The end. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as the other one that we read with Brian Richard.
So I um, decided that right now we're going to learn how to draw our own pigeon. So feel free to pause the video. I might be making a goofy face when you pause it, so don't laugh at me. But um, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna do a little step by step of how to draw the pigeon, and then if you guys want to send it to me on Dojo through your parents' account, or um, you can send me an email. I'm going to try to put my email in the link in the box below, or I'll just say it at the end of um, the video. So. Step one when you're drawing your own pigeon is you have to start with his head. So it's very simple. All you have to do is draw a circle. Okay, so yeah, step one, circle. And you know what? Just like in school, just do the best you can. Your circle's not going to be perfect. My circle's not going to be perfect. We're just going to do our best. And you can always pause it and try again. So we have our first circle. That's his head. And then we have to draw his eyeball, okay? So we're gonna draw a smaller circle inside the big circle right there. So that's the start of his eye. Because just like in the book, he's got kind of a big eye. Okay, so now we're gonna draw the pupil, okay? The pupil is that black part in your eye, okay? So I'm gonna draw mine down here, okay? But you can draw yours wherever you want. And I'm just going to fill it in just for now. But if you want to wait, you can color it in black after we're done. Mm -hmm. I'll try to go faster. All right, next up, he needs something to help him smell. And so for birds, they're not noses. What are they called? Beaks. So we're going to draw his beak. And we're actually, we're not going to put it over here. You can if you want, but I'm going to put mine over here. Okay, so we have his nose and his beak. So we have his head, but he needs a body, right? He's not just a head. So after we draw the pupil and his little beak, we have to give him his neck, okay? So his neck's kind of long because he's a pigeon. So we have a long neck here, long neck. Just two lines next to each other, not too thick, okay? And uh, he has two lines across right there too. Looking like a pigeon. All right, so the next part. We're gonna bring this line down a little bit more. We're gonna curve it, kind of like a smile. Okay, like that. So it looks like a smile. And then I bet you can guess what we're gonna do next. We're gonna connect this line with this line. Okay, like that, and connect it, just like that. Ooh, it's starting to look like a pigeon. All right, after that, we're going to add a wing because pigeons fly and he needs a wing, okay? So I'm going to just go like, so we're kind of outlining. We've done this before with some other drawings like the antlers on the on the um, reindeer that we did at Christmas time. So we're going to outline it a little bit like that. Do you see how I'm going against the line? And then I'm going to go down like a smile again, but the other way. Like that. That's it. But... In case he doesn't want to fly, he also needs some feet. So two lines for the feet, and then he needs his little his little talons. Talons are like the um, like claws almost that birds use to grab things. Okay, so we've got our pigeon, and I'm gonna sign mine, Miss Arel. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the book and I hope that you made your own pigeon and it came out cute. Feel free to color it. The pigeon in the Mo Willems book is blue, but you can color your pigeon any color you want. And I hope that you send me a picture. My email is hrel, A-R-E-L, at sevenhillscharter.org. And I would love to hear from you guys. Or you can send me a picture on Dojo. Or you can just enjoy it yourself. You don't need to send me anything if you can't. So um, Miss Gleason is probably going to be posting a video tomorrow. I'm not going to share anything of what she's going to be doing. And um, I'll be on, on Friday on an app called Zoom if you guys want to try to video chat with us. Um, but ask your parents if it's possible. And if not... You know, maybe I could talk to you guys on the phone. 
All right. So um, hope you guys are doing well. Listen to your parents. Make sure you're reading every day, and I will see you very, very soon. All right. We love you guys. Bye.